Welcome to another interview here at Productronica. I'm at the Vela booth and I'm speaking to Philippe. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Yeah, you're welcome. I thank you for being here. Uh, calendar year is almost over. We're getting into December. How has 2017 treated Vela? Well, luckily, it's been treating Vela very well. We uh, are planning to have uh, double-digit growth this year. Okay. Um, so we're very satisfied with 2017. We're on a trend that is really solid. We had a good growth in 16, a very good growth in 17, and we're going to end up the year with, uh, as I said, double-digit growth, which is great for us. Great for us and also great for our customers, obviously, because they benefit from the same yes. growth then. So uh, where does this growth come from? Because you, you supply a lot of different things here. So Veller stands for a series of things. Uh, one is quality. It's the obvious one, and everyone's talking about quality, but it really is very important for us. Technology and innovation is the second one, extremely important. And then, last but not least, we have a strong channel. Veller is an organization who is using distribution network to get this product to the market. That provides our end users with even more support and possibility to find the products easily. Of course, we back the channel up, uh, and if you link that again with innovation, technology, and quality, all of that makes it such a good and compelling offering that we are able to grow our business. That's from who we are. On a product perspective, we launched a series of new products in the field of soldering, in the field of filtration, and in the field of precision tools. So we have new products that have been introduced in 16 and 17, and we see the results coming out of that, again, as I said, since 2016 and into 17. And then we'll talk a bit later about, yeah. I guess, the, uh, the future. But yeah, yeah. today, those products we introduce, a new platform in the mid-range soldering, yeah. a platform in the, uh, in the entry-level soldering, that is really what, uh, what has driven the, uh, the business for us. Geographically, where, where do Vela have, have the strongest footing? Um, Vela, un, unlike the, the name would suggest, is, uh, is originated from the US. Um, still with a very strong base in Europe and Germany. So if you look into where we are strong, um, uh, Europe, in general, Germany in particular, is a very strong market for us. The US, Northern America in general, extremely solid. And then we have a presence in Latin America and Asia. I would say, uh, from an opportunity uh, perspective, we are seeing a lot of opportunities in um, Asia slash China and in Mexico for different reasons. One of them being that our end customers, uh, most of them are based there. So. Uh, we, after doing a very good job in Europe and Northern America, we also need to serve these same customers in China, in Mexico, for example. So those would be geographical opportunities that we are looking at in the future. So with uh, a great year behind you, with some yes. new opportunities on the horizon, what, what else do we see in the future for Bella? So, I think one of the, the most important things for us, besides what I was saying earlier on, the quality, the technology and innovation, and working with our channel partners, so the other thing that is extremely important for us is understand what the customer is looking for, understand the pain points, understand what kind of a solution is he looking for. Mm -hmm. and, and that's another thing why people really recognize Veller um, as a leader in the soldering space, because we have a customer intimacy that very few other persons have in our uh, um, space in our segment. Yeah. So customer in intimacy, what does that drive? Understanding of their application and the pain points I was referring to. Okay. So if you look into the future, some of the things that we hear from our customer is pretty obvious probably if you walk around at Productronica is we want to have some level of connectivity and we want to have a way to move away from hand into automation, hand whatever, hand soldering in our case into automation. So those are trends that we see that we have captured by talking to our customer, by looking into how they manage their plants and factories. And actually, it's the same slogan uh, or focus that Productronica has this year. How do we make sure that when we sell, as Vela, when we sell our tools to the end user, 
They want to know exactly what's happening with the tool. They want to understand how to optimize the use of the tool. They want to understand how um, different components like sensors in the tools will provide them with data, but more precisely information about, again, how the tools are being used in the, in the factory. Why is that important? Because that information is going to tell them, I can do better there or there. The statistics that will come out of uh, uh, the data and transformed into information will tell them, for example, I have an operator. He is extremely efficient in his day-to-day -day job. I see that for any given job that he has to do is faster than anyone else. Let's have a look into how he's doing that and eventually extend that to the rest of the line. On the other way, uh, one operator is maybe slower, uh, so let's figure out what's happening there. Maybe he needs some more training. That's just on the operation. But then you have many other things that you can do by um, monitoring and understanding, again, the way your tools are acting into your production plan. And that is only possible if you have connectivity. Utilizing the information. Utilizing the information and, and you hear a lot of people talking about Industry 4.0. That's one of the elements of it. Um, everyone is saying they're Industry 4.0. I think the concept of Industry 4.0 is so big and so wide. If you ask a question to 20 different persons, they will give you 30 different answers. For us, the approach is pretty simple, and we try to be um, with our feet on the ground, I would say, talk to the customer, understand what his needs are, his pain points, and how can connectivity help you sort that out. You seem to have an incredibly busy booth, so I'm not going to keep you here too long. I'm going to leave you to do some business here, so I thank you for the interview. Thank you very much for giving me the time, and um, have a look at Valor. If you need any uh, more information, we are there. Thank, thank you, you very much.